can't get my head in. Most of you will say leave it out, but my head is my head in. The camera's wonky. Oh, do you know what? Let's just go. Right, welcome back to T Upload TV. The average golfer back in the office impromptu was downstairs 10 minutes ago and I decided to switch the camera on and start to record a video. I hear you ask, why are you doing that? Well, because I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in a Ryder Cup stalwart, somebody that I have cheered on, many a fist pump in celebration with some of the putts this guy has rolled in. In particular, uh, during the Ryder Cup, but this guy is a major winner. Let's get to the point of the clues in the title. It's about Graham McDowell. Now, I'd go as far as to say I am a fan, a big fan of Graham McDowell. The way he comes across on the golf course um, has always been good as far as I'm concerned, the way he conducts himself, and the way his fighting spirit, like I said, in Ryder Cup has absolutely been superb to see, and I love all that. It's fair to say his game has left him a little bit over the last few years and he's, uh, he's struggling to, uh, to compete of late. But the reason for the video is this, I've just seen and read a tweet where Graham McDowell is saying that he's withdrawing from open qualifying at uh, St Anne's Old Links because his clubs have been lost by Air France. Now, let's start off with the facts, it's a real downer, it's real poor on the part of Air France and clearly it's not a great thing to happen however to withdraw from it at such a late stage and such short notice bear in mind it's um, it's today I think the qualifying I just find it real poor on the tweet is kind of a little bit of uh, throw the sort of toys out of the pram type of response I'm not playing because I haven't got my football and I just, I really feel let down by Graham McDowell, or McDowell, as I think I was told recently you should pronounce his name from Lowell in Ireland. And I want your opinion on this really, because it's kind of like my immediate response is, and I've read some of the thread on the, on the tweets and some people are saying, yes, we support you, Graham, and others are sort of saying, well, come on, Graham, surely you can grab a set of clubs of similar spec, if not identical, and make do and put the effort in and try to qualify uh, for the Open because surely ultimately that's all Graham wants to do. And my head over the last 10 minutes really gets to by where if it was me right now and if it was you right now when you had the chance to qualify at the Open and you lost your clubs but you got offered another set that were pretty similar spec then obviously I think it's fair to say you and I would both jump at the chance. But is it a case of that's the whole situation really? Graham McDowell isn't you or I, he's a major winner, he's a big cheese, he's achieved it in golf and he doesn't now need to, he's not got that hunger that necessarily we would have given those opportunities presented to us now. Or is it just a simple case of it's a logical move from Graham's part, he's now saying he's going to switch his attentions to the Irish Open which I assumed he was playing in anyway so I don't really understand why he's saying he's switching his attentions. I just thought the uh, opportunity to qualify um, at St Anne's Old Links in Lytham was, was an additional um, opportunity to get to that uh, open venue at Carnoustie in a few weeks' time. But for me, the reason for the video is uh, it's more about the bigger picture. It's always about the message that it sends out to younger golfers um, and to us amateurs, really. Should we really be responding like that? I don't know, it really has left a sour taste. And so, like I said, a sour taste from someone that I've really supported over the years in terms of golf, but I just feel on this occasion, maybe um, the bigger picture is, the bigger question is, is the conduct of the professional golfer. Um, maybe I shouldn't be highlighting Graham's situation right now, but it just, I just felt as though I need to put this camera on and have a little bit of a chat because I'd love to know your opinions on it as ever and are you as disappointed as I am or is this uh, an overreaction on my part because like I said it's uh, it's it is I don't like it I don't like that kind of attitude at all I mean for God's sake I went to Ireland last week and did a man versus golf hole challenge and I'd left my tailor-made Ardmore putter at home and I had to make do with a different putter 
I still competed. I still won a man versus golf hole challenge at Ballyliffin. And if you haven't watched that video, then make sure you do, because it's far more interesting than this one. Although, oddly enough, I'll probably get more views on this one. But, end of video, I think. I think it's as simple as that. I want to know your opinion. I do these videos because A, I get the chance to spout my opinion, but as ever, I'm always more interested in the general census of opinion, and that means comments down below. Um, what are your thoughts? Is Graham right or wrong on this one? Do you feel as let down as I am? And that's pretty much it. Rant over. By the way, for those of you who watch the channel on a regular basis, there'll be an update on the Taggers wall very, very soon. I'm aware that I've uh, been out of the office doing lots of on-course stuff of late and believe me there are lots of positive changes on the Taggers target wall. So just as a reminder, maybe in addition to this video, to remind people who do watch, we have a wall to my right, which I'll show you a clip of very shortly, which has got names of viewers that support and watch the channel and it's the name, handicap target for the year, current handicap and then you inform me as and when there are any changes made and believe me it's acting as a great inspiration because lots of you are coming down and that's another video I'm going to do very very soon to talk about how these handicaps are falling and how well everybody's doing. Anyway that's it I'm going to carry on with what I was doing like I said comments down below hit the thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you don't already and uh, I'll speak to you in probably a day or two's time.